Well, good morning. We're out just riding around, checking for some new new areas to hunt. I'm checking on some of the old areas, seeing how some of the cuts are doing. They sprayed some last year, so go and check them, see if there's any green growth coming back in. And we'll do a little bit of brook fishing. Plus, we're looking for some coyote sign. And the road that I'm on's got quite a bit on it. So I might try to sneak back here later this afternoon, set up and do a little bit of calling. See if we can get a coyote to come in. Try to get it on film. All right, here's a cut. Here's an example of when they spray the herbicide you know it just all crumbles and they spray it so the little spruce plantings can grow so it kills off all the maple whips and the new growth this is usually what the deer eat But starting to come back a little bit. Some raspberry whips. A few maple whips here and there. Let's see if we can't catch a trout. This looks like a nice little pool. Might be able to hook up. That last spot was a bust. I'll hike into this little pond area. See if we have any luck. There was some little fingerling brookies in that last little flow that we we're in. But they were just too small. One nice thing to have is a nice little pack rod. Being able to walk through the brush, put it in a knapsack or backpack, whatever you want to put it in. It's great for hiking in. Or just leaving it in the truck. All right, we just get into this little, little mud puddle of a pond in the woods. Better be careful I don't break through. You can see this is nothing more than just a floating, floating bog. Of, be real careful where you step. Kind of see it rippling all the way down. It's just a floating mat. We'll see if we see it, but a bear just came out in the road right around this corner up here. It's probably going to run before we get there. There was a black bear walking right up the road. And there he is. That's a bull. Another bull running up. We got some small nubs started on his head. Another beautiful morning in Maine. 
just out scouting around today checking some of the areas that we deer hunt also looking for good places to call coyotes they leave you nice calling cards they leave you fur turds in the road so if you look up the road here there's a couple more piles you can see three or four different piles so this is a good spot coyotes come through here quite a bit so we can set up the call here I'm out today, I'm just riding around checking some of the old cuts and looking for some new cuts. Some of the old cuts last year, they got sprayed with vegetation control for their little plantations of spruce. So a lot of the feed for the deer in the fall was, was all dead. So it was kind of a surprise when we got here. But just going to go around and check some of the areas that we hunted last year and see if there's any sign that the deer are back in the area i'm sure they are but the feed and stuff changes and riding around looking for areas for calling coyotes you might try to set up later this afternoon or this morning try a couple sets but the road that i'm on now there's a brook at the end of it and i made the uh ultimate sin i forgot my truck saw back at camp and there's a big tree across the road so couldn't get down there to Try to catch a couple brook trout but on the road i'm noticing there's a lot of coyote sign fur turds we call them in there's the hair of what they've been eating and this one looks like it's been eating snowshoe hairs a lot of times you'll find them with deer hair or there'll be moose hair if they found a winter kill calf or a cow or a moose that didn't make the winter they'll be gorging themselves on it but judging by all the coyote sign on this road, there's probably probably a den nearby or something. So we'll try to set up later and see if we can't call one in. Just walking along. Came to the end of a road. Found this old... Uh, is that a bear print? Yeah, it looks like bear track. There's some freaking deer tracks and there's a looks like a coyote track this is an old road that runs the end of a logging road I just happened to see this faint line and figured I'd take a walk down in the woods and check it out it runs quite a ways this way leads to water. There's quite a few tracks on this road. So this might be one for the memory bank to check this fall. Of course, I ain't got any bug spray on. I'm getting fucking chewed alive. So she's just curious as to see what I am. The wind's in my favor. So she's just going to come up behind me. She'll probably get wind of me here in a minute and then take off. Right, Mama? Curious what I am? Hmm? You good girl? I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Down by the dam where the camp is. Hopefully the water is a little bit deeper. Again, there's some just some little fingling trout that are 
in there. Beautiful day. Beautiful view. Well, it's a gorgeous day out, that's for sure. Oh, I finally got a little Fingerland native brookie. Toss him back. Got another friend coming. Just curious as to what I am, I think. Swamp now. Black flies are killing me. I think she's just curious as to what I'm doing. Nothing like Northern Maine living. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous day. A beautiful set of camps. There's another one tucked up in the back there. But what a spot. Sit here and look out over this little bog. Watch the moose. I'm sure she's loving getting in there and getting away from the bugs. Beautiful day, just doing a little brook fishing. All right, here's another bear signpost. Looks like he was biting this one. Scratch marks there. Scratch marks there. Maybe you can see. See the bear hairs. 